Hey guys, we're doing a little review today on the Scott's Whisk Seed Spreader. This is how it looks. This is where the seeds come out at. And this is if you don't want it, if you're going around the corner and don't want the seeds to come out on that side, you can move this lever back and forth. And this right here, this is where you set how much seed you want to come out. My sweet spot is probably like three and a half. I got it. So that's three and a half. That's where I set mine at. You can set it all the way to nine. But this little arrow, that's where you want it. So I usually set mine to um, three and a half right there. As you can see, that's how I have mine set. And right here, this is something I put on here. I put a piece of tape right here. And I have a string right here. And the string runs here. And then right here, I have a zip tie. And the zip tie, because I, I use this on the front of my lawnmower. And I can strap this to the front of my lawnmower and start spreading seeds and how I use this as you can see what down in here that's when you, when you press the trigger that thing spins and that little door opens up down here as you can see but it'll open up more and more with this right here as you turn this this will open up more and more and I have this piece of wood right here because I run a strap over my lawnmower and it keeps it from buckling in for squeezing together like that and the objective of this zip tie and this string is when I oh yeah this button right here is to lock so you can't press the trigger unlock it is you push it that way push it forward and when I have it on my when I have it set on my lawnmower and I put my seeds in there, I have this string right here taped around this part. And then I take that zip tie, I press the trigger in, and it runs by itself, you guys. <laughs> That's how it does. As, as you can see, it's spinning without me pressing the trigger. And as you can see, it's spinning down here. And that's how I work that, operate that. And just like I said, uh, three and a half is my sweet spot. Like if you set it to nine, you'll see how far this thing opens up. You can see the bigger gap down there. But I like to have mine set to, because I don't want to use all my seeds up too fast. And I do a lot of people yards. Put down tall fescue. I put it on three and a half like that. And when you press that trigger, this is what shoots your seeds out. And the second part of this video is how to fix this if it jams up. Um, down in here, let me get a pen so I can show you. Down in here, it's a little space that I'm thinking the stuff gets stuck down in here so I'm gonna try to replace it and put a washer in there so the stuff you can't see it from this camera angle I don't think you can but down in here it's a space to it's dropping down in here I'm gonna show you you guys I'm gonna take this apart because it did stop working on me and I had to just take these four screws out one right here there's one right here one right here and there's one right there and I just took it off and then squeezed the trigger and I think some dust or some seed dust had got stuck in there and when I just took this off it started back running but when you take this thing apart you want to be kind of careful because different stuff can start um, coming apart and then here, this is your battery compartment. Uh, to get to your batteries, there's four AA batteries 
and you take this one off but we're not gonna take this off we're just gonna take the bottom of it off and I want to show you that in the next part of this video and it works pretty good but if it jams up on you I'm gonna show you guys how to go on the inside of it yeah and I want to tell you you guys how much I paid for this um, seat spreader uh, it was twenty five ninety six, plus the two year warranty was three dollars. The tax was two dollars and ten cent, and it came out to thirty one oh six. My sweet spot is three and a half, and we're gonna put the washer on there today. And just like I said, when you take this apart, you can just probably, you know, knock the dirt out of the bottom of it. Just keep it like this. And then hold it and then put it like this and take it off and then go on the inside and see if you have any dust in there. As you can see, all this dust from the seeds. These are yellow grass seeds. They look like that. And it also has some dust in there. I think that dust kind of jams it up sometimes. Okay guys, we're back at you again. We just now took the four screws out of the bottom that I was telling you about. So I'm going to hold this bottom because it'll fall off. But those four screws that I was telling you, one, two, three, four, and I'm holding this on. I'm not going to keep it like that because I don't want everything to fall out. But I'm going to show you what it looked like. In there. For me to fix this, this, this all I had to do last time was I just took this part up and take it up real gently because it's a wire right here. And plus... It's a little white thing that sits right here. So this is how the inside looks, you guys. We're going to give you up close. I'm not trying to move too much stuff around. And that's how the inside looks. And see, you can see some of the stuff that fell out right here. All these little seeds. These are grass seeds. And this is like dust. And I think it gets jammed up on here or between these two gears because... This one right here mash, mashes up to that. So we're going to give you another close. Let's make sure everything is in the correct spot. If you have to, take a picture of it to see how everything goes. And let me show you guys where I'm going to put that washer at. Because this right here can, well, this one can come out. So watch out for that. I'm going to put that right back in there. And um, here we go, guys. We're going to take... Let's see, we're going to try to slip this out. Be careful, you guys, when you take it. Just make sure you know which way you're taking it out. It was like this. So, take that out. Let's see if I can get this off. That popped up off of there. Okay, this that space that I was telling you guys about. If you can see right there. I don't want to ruin this wire but right here I think stuff is falling in there so I'm gonna see what what size washer I can put right there one second we're gonna get right back to you yeah you guys as you can see down in here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit you can see all that dust in here that's going down in here and I think it's getting jammed up in there so I got a box full of these washers they're like different sizes and it looks like this I got it from Amazon and it comes with all different sizes I'm gonna try to keep stuff from going down in here I think that's what's stopping it but most of the time if you just take this a loose like I did just now and just put everything back in you can pretty much it'll start back working again. Like I can squeeze, I can squeeze the trigger right now. But make sure this white thing is in the right position. Make sure this one on this side is in the right area. Don't pull this cord too much. But I found the washer that I can sit down because it's a space right in here. If you can see that, I'm gonna try to sit this washer to block that space down in here. And I'm going to show you, zoom back out a little bit, 
and we're gonna set this washer right in here. I'm gonna see if that'll help it out from that stuff falling down in here, probably stopping it. And then you wanna take this, you can only put this on here one way because this right here has like a little notch that can fit this exactly. So we're gonna put this back on, press it down firmly. Okay, it's still moving. Okay, so that, that's pretty good. Then you wanna put your brown piece back on. Make sure you put it in there correctly and snugly. And then you want to, because I, I like to let it sit down flat like this so all this stuff don't start falling apart. And then I want to firmly pick the top back up. I'm going to pick the top back up. And we're going to try to put it straight back down on here like it was. Don't force it, just let it fall into place. And then, yep, we got it back. So hold, if I hold the bottom on, I still ain't put the screws in yet. And if you can see, that washer is in there. Hopefully, that'll keep it from stopping. It did stop on me after the, I think I used it maybe like, maybe like three times and then it stopped. But just like I said, you guys, if you just sit it down, take the screws out and take it apart, and probably hit the trigger, it'll start back working. Okay, we got everything flush on here, guys. Yeah, if this ever stopped working on you, just take it apart and just look down in here, see if you have any dust in there. And usually once you take it apart and go on the inside and make sure you don't misplace any parts or anything like that and press the trigger, it should start back working for you, especially if you know the batteries are good you just take it apart and then I put a little washer in there and I might make a second video about how long it lasts with that washer in there that to keep that dust and stuff from going down in there and we got this back together and this part right here you'll see what I use this for on my lawnmower when I get ready to strap this to my lawnmower and um, we're just gonna flip this over like this and put our screws back in. And it's good if you have like an electric like drill. This is a, a Phillips head um, drill. Looks like that Milwaukee. And you wanna take your screws and drop them back down in here. I'm gonna try to push it like that. I like to keep it like, like this so everything don't fall apart. This is just reverse of me taking the screws. I just drop them down in there. And then make sure your your, your uh, drill is going the right way. Let me see. And you don't want them too tight. Just enough because you don't want to strip the plastic inside here. Make sure you're getting right on the. Oh, I gotta get it. Yep. And she's back together. And works perfect. And as you can see, that washer is down in there. And make sure everything is working correctly. Yep. That can go back like that. Or forward. As you can see, yeah, that... That dust can really get in here and stop this thing because them seeds have a lot of dust on them sometimes. And as you can see guys, this is my setup of my weed spreader from Scott's. I got a strap in this hole and a strap goes over top and I hooked it in that hole down there. And as you can see when I roll, it's in front of the lawnmower so when this trigger is compressed 
it'll start spitting the seeds at the front of it. And the seeds go down in there. I'm gonna show you how to strap it to my lawnmower. I got these. I got these straps right here. What I got from Harbor Freight Tool, and I just cut them, cut it to make it short. And we're gonna attach one in this hole. And we're gonna attach the other one in this hole. And what we're gonna do is, in this little piece right here, I have this bar right here. And I just I'm put do it like that. I'm I'm gonna show you a picture of it in the video of what these little clamps are called. And we just clamp them down just like that. Well, actually, we're gonna go through this side. And my sweet spot on this spreader is like three and a half. But I'm going to put it to three and one half, three and a half on this lawn. Then we're going to take our grass seeds and dump them in. And I'm going to take you guys on the ride on how it looks as these seeds are spreading over the ground. Now that we're almost in the grass guy, we're going to engage our seed spreader and as you can see the seeds are popping out if you get a close view now we're going to start seeding the lawn <laughs> 